this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the quantum healing technique for letting go of past memories and really letting go of blockages as well. I'm going to show you exactly how to apply this so that you're more easily able to let go of what doesn't serve and start to be and live the life that you prefer. Welcome back to another video. My name's Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you that quantum healing technique that you can apply that can help you in a way start to heal past experiences. Now, this is something that's going to be kind of rooted in the understanding of parallel realities, understanding that the only moment that does exist is this moment right now. You see, we've never actually experienced the past because when it was the past, it was the moment now. The moment now is where it's at. And when it will be the future, it won't actually be the future. It'll be this moment right now from just a different point of view. But the way we're wired to think is in a very linear type way. There's a beginning, there's a middle, there's an end. And what happens is because we have that kind of belief, it keeps us perpetuating similar experiences over and over again, especially because a lot of times what happens is things that have happened to us in the past. So if there was some type of memory of something that happened, in a moment that that memory happened, what may have happened is we ended up deciding and saying to ourselves, even subconsciously, this is who I am, or this is how I have to be in order to really get what I want in life, or this is how I have to be in order to shield myself from bad experiences. So that a lot of times happens at very subconscious levels. Now. The thing that quantum physics shows us is that the only moment that does exist is right now. And the other cool thing that I've been learning is understanding that in this moment right now, we connect back to past memories. But what neuroscience also shows is that anytime we remember a memory, what we do is we take that memory out of the memory bank, we observe it, and as we observe it, we change it a little bit, then we put it back in the memory bank when we're done looking at it. So initially what happens is every time we do that, we change the memory little by little and eventually, even though we may have thought about it thousands of times or hundreds of times, it's a completely different memory than what actually happened because it's been overlaid with our beliefs and our opinions about it. So what is good about that? Well, the good thing is knowing that what you're remembering about the past may have been totally different than the way that you remember it. And maybe the story you're telling yourself just doesn't work anymore. Maybe the story you're telling yourself it continues to weigh you down. You know, on average, we think about 60,000 to 70,000 thoughts a day, and of those, 90% are recycled the day before, which means if we're thinking of past experiences every day, if it's something we regret, if it's something we feel shame about, that gets brought in to our current reality. We keep creating the same emotions, therefore similar things in our life manifest because we are resonating with those kind of emotions. So the power of this understanding of this quantum healing technique is the ability to heal our timeline. Because even though we think that that time that happened in the past is set, it's not actually set. We remember it, so we keep recreating the energy and the momentum of it, but the cool thing is, is as we change in the present moment, we also change different pasts. We have different pasts as we change in the present moment. In the same way, there's different probable futures as we change our present moment energy now. So the past and the future are not as set as we priorly thought that they were. And that's something quantum physics is showing us. So in this video, that's what I'm going to be sharing with you is how to heal that timeline, how to change it, but at the same time, how to process the memories and forgive yourself, forgive other people to let go of the energy that comes with that memory. The reason I think this is important is because a lot of times we think we just shouldn't be thinking and feeling the way that we are. And because we think we should be feeling differently, we create resistance and that resistance continues to perpetuate more and more of that emotion. That was something that a question somebody had when I did my talk in LA a couple months ago. They said they were feeling a lot of resistance about some things that have happened and the advice that I had was to let it be okay that you feel the resistance. Let it be okay. And if you let it be okay, the paradox is then you let go of the charge of that energy. And that I could tell really helped him. That was kind of like a little tweak in his mind. He's like, whoa, yeah, that's something I could do. That's something I think we can all do. And that's something I remind myself of. Let go of the charge of things being positive or negative 
And as I let go of that charge, or I let it be okay that I feel one way or the other, the resistance goes away anyways. So it's kind of like magic. It works really well. So let's get into the quantum healing technique now that we're six minutes into the video almost. So this is what we do. First off, there's two parts to this. The first off is actually going to be just clearing the energy. It is just clearing the kind of momentum that may have been built up from what has happened. So this is where we're going to use Ho Onopono. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but many of you guys have probably heard of this. This is a Hawaiian type healing modality. It's something that a lot of people use. It's really, uh, it's known for being something that's very powerful. And there's four main parts to it. And the first part of it is you say simply, I'm sorry. You think of the memory of something that happened and you think I'm sorry. Now you might say, well, it wasn't something I did to someone else. It was something somebody did to me. It doesn't matter. You say I'm sorry because what you are becoming aware of is that everything in your life, we must start to take responsibility for everything that happens in our life because unless we take responsibility, what happens is we put the power outside of ourselves and we cannot change what we do not own. So even if something did something to you, come at it from the place of I'm sorry because you're aware that there's an energy pattern that's associated with it and unless you forgive yourself or unless you forgive somebody else, then that energy will remain charged. Even if you say that person did this to me, that is remaining charged. So say I'm sorry. Make it like you're talking to your higher self. I'm sorry for letting this pattern run myself out for so long. Kind of like you're talking to your higher self and you may be talking to other people. You may be talking to somebody that maybe you did something to. So this is what you do. You say, I'm sorry. And then the second step is you say, please forgive me. Please forgive me. This is with the awareness that, first off, let's talk for a second about forgiveness. What makes it so much easier to forgive people is knowing that people always make the best decision they can with where they are with their level of consciousness. Now, I don't mean that in a judgmental way, like, like oh, you're a lower level consciousness, so that's probably why you are doing and making those decisions and being mean towards people. But in general, everyone will make decisions from their own point of consciousness and they're justified in their own mind. So maybe somebody stole from you and they stole from you and they're a good friend of yours. You're like, why would they steal from me? Well, they may have been at a place where they believed in scarcity. They didn't believe in themselves. Maybe they needed something and they felt pressure from someone else, maybe their spouse or their girlfriend or their boyfriend to do something, so they felt like they had to take something that you had. Now, I'm not saying it's okay, but what I am saying is that unless you forgive that person, you may carry a certain level of resentment inside of you that will then leak into other areas of your life. So let's heal that now. So what you do is you say, please forgive me. Please forgive me, because then you're taking the power back. Even though it may have been something that happened to you, please forgive forgive me for thinking this for so long, for, for having this kind of energy within my body, for going about it, telling myself this story over and over again. Now, the third part is called just simply saying, thank you. Now, thank you. This is where you have gratitude. You have gratitude and you say thank you and knowing that it is done, that it is something you've let go of. Thank you. Thank you for the experience. Thank you for the learning lesson that came along with it. Just say, thank you. Thank you for what you've learned. Thankful for, for how much more aware you've become. Whatever it is, just say, thank you. And as you say, thank you, you are starting to more so vibrate and let go of that vibration altogether. Now, the fourth part of it is you just say, I love you. Everything that you experience in your life is a reflection of your own consciousness. We are all connected. We are all one. I know this is a very deep idea. But when we start to realize this, we realize that everything is love and that by holding love away from certain people or certain things or even ourselves because of certain experiences or things that people did to us, so we hold our back, our love from them, we create separation and that separation creates patterns and that patterns create something that continues to run itself out. So that is the modality that you can use to heal the prior experience. Now let's get into the quantum healing technique part of it. That was part of the process. The reason I explain that is because this next part is very powerful, but I do at the same time believe that we must work through the emotions and forgive in order to really let go of the pattern. I don't think, otherwise it seems like this quantum healing technique I'm about to show you is just a band-aid. You're just putting a band-aid over it. This heals 
And then what this does is this allows you to take the Band-Aid off. This allows you to really heal in a powerful way. So what is the quantum healing technique? This is what we're going to do. What I'd like you to do right now, and we can do this together, is think of a memory you have of something that has happened to you, something you've done, whatever it is, something you want to heal, a past prior experience. Now realize that that past prior experience that you're thinking of right now, that, that there is a version of you that is in that reality. Even though it seems like that happened 20 years ago, that happened five years, 10 years ago, whatever it is. There's a part, a portion of you that exists in a timeline right now that is not healed. There's a person, there's a version of you that is resentment or that had to decide that this is who I am. They had to not talk so much or they had to not express themselves because of something happening. Or there's some type of energy that they're carrying around, that version of you. Be aware of that. Now realize that you continue to think about that over and over again and in the present moment you create more and more of that resistance without even knowing it, just subconsciously. So because of that, because time is not as linear as we thought that it is, and because every time you pick that memory bank out and you look at that memory from the memory bank, you change it and then put it back in, this is what we're going to do. We're going to let go of it and realize that whatever situation you experienced, you can let it go and you can start to change the memory. It's just simply as you look at that memory, you're wiring it into your brain. Neurons that fire together, wire together. So every time you think of it, you're wiring that memory in so that when you think of it, you consistently go to that memory that you remember. So this is what we're going to do. Have the awareness that that version of you exists right now. Connect to it. Heal it through the Honopono that we just did. But this is what you do. You start to realize and you start to think of an alternate type experience that could have happened. You start to think of something that happened and instead of whatever happened, you start to realize an alternative. So maybe it was like when you were younger, maybe your parents told you, uh, a common one is parents told when I was growing up is children are meant to be seen and not heard. So get in trouble if like a family dinner or something, talking, talking like a family, whole bunch of family around and you start talking about something and you get told to shut up. And remember that, you know, that's something that is easy to remember. So there's a part of me, if that were me, remembering that, what happened is that version of me exists right now and it's not healed yet. And maybe at a certain level I don't express myself because of that one experience. So what do you do? Well, what we would do is we would look at that situation, that scenario. And what I would do is I would look at it and then see it happening differently. So there's, it's been wired so much that that's the way I see it, right? Talking at dinner, somebody says, stop talking. You're meant to be seen and not heard. Why are you talking? Why are you expressing yourself? So instead of that, instead of that memory being wired over and over again, I start to remember it differently. I start to think of it like, I was laughing about something, somebody looked over and smiled, and I realized that it's cool for me to express myself, the exact opposite. And maybe I put in a little bit of detail there. Maybe I put it, what exactly was I talking about? I was joking around about something that happened in school, I was talking about it, I laughed, everyone else laughed, and it was a good experience, and I felt good for expressing myself. So now what you do, is you look at whatever memory you're thinking of. I just gave you an example of something I just kind of pulled out of thin air. But whatever it is, see an alternative happening happen that is even better. And then what you do is you make that brighter and brighter. You imagine it with the sounds there, sounds getting louder and louder. You imagine increasing the senses of what you feel. Imagine you taste what the air tastes like if you were at the beach or something. Whatever it is, you make that visualization more powerful and what you do is you run that through your mind as if you were in the experience, not like you're watching a movie, as if you're there and you remember it over and over again. And every time you remember it like that, what you do is you wire in that new memory and that becomes your new past in the present moment. That becomes something that over time you will begin to wire that in. It only takes about four or five times of remembering it and then go back to the moment and think, do you relate to the old memory again? You may find that the old memory has been, every time you pull that memory out anyways, it changes anyways. Why not change it even more? 
Why not allow yourself to really change it and get some positive effect out of it and choose in the present moment to change. So that's what you can begin to do. Look at that memory, change it the way you prefer, some lesson you can learn from it, and then run that through your mind a couple times a day and let yourself let it go. Let go of the old memory, run it through the positive way that it reinforces, think about it over and over again, and then simply know that as you go forward, you have literally changed your past timeline. You have connected to your past in a completely different way. This, I think, is so powerful. You can really let go of any patterns you're carrying with you. At a certain level, you could let go of the karma of what you put out is what you get back, but if you're resonating with some level of uh, regret or some level of resentment towards someone else, you can then really just let it go. And from there, you're gonna create new patterns in your life of things that change in a very powerful way. So this is something I think that you can apply towards any memories that you have that you don't prefer. That's why I also, I'm not just putting it as a band-aid where you just change your timeline of things that happen, process it, work through it. That's why Honopono works so well. You can work through it and allow yourself to feel it. And you could heal and forgive for within you. And then when you go to this technique, it works so powerfully. Now, if you want a guided meditation that will help you to raise your vibrational set point, because when you raise your vibrational set point, it's easy for you to let go of the lower emotions. I've created a free guided meditation that will help you to do that. You can see it in the top of the description box below. It will help you to raise your vibrational set point so that you let go of the stuff that no longer serves. So that will help you condition this in a very powerful way. Now, at the same time, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing more live Q&As on Instagram. So if you want to have your questions answered, if you want to interact with me in more of a deeper way so that we have more of an interaction, I will also put my Instagram below so that you can follow me there. And I look forward to connecting with you there as well. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to like this video. If you guys like it, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that little notification here so that you can see the daily vids that I do. And other than that, as always, peace, much love, and namaste.